All right, welcome to today's program, and um, we're going to bring answers to your questions. Today we have a question here, and someone is asking, why are most prayer warriors poor? Why is it that we have prayer warriors that, <laughs> that are poor? It's quite very funny, you know, this question. But let's look at, first, before, before we even answer this question, what is, what, what's the meaning of prayer warrior? Who exactly is a prayer warrior? Um, as the scripture lets us know in the new covenant, because a prayer warrior is not just somebody who prays for long, or who, because most people call themselves prayer warriors are really not prayer warriors. They're actually just having relationship with demonic spirits and, you know, wasting their time with Satan and thinking that's prayer. They're having more fellowship with Satan than they're having fellowship with God. So who, who is a, who's really, how does the Bible define the prayer warrior in the New Testament? Let's look at Colossians chapter four from verse 11, actually from verse 12 to 13. And look at what Paul said. Paul said, um, Ephesus, who is one of you, a born servant of Christ, greets you, always laboring fervently for you in prayers. You see that? That you may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. He says, For I bear him witness that he has a great zeal for you, for those who are in Lacedonia and those in um, Herapolis. But let me read from um, NIV. NIV, look at the way NIV constructs um, this phrase. He says, Ephraim, who is one of you, and a servant of Christ Jesus. Then he says, Saints greetings. He says, He is always wrestling in prayer for you. He is always wrestling in prayer for you, that he might stand firm in all the will of God, mature and fully assured. And then he says, verse 13, I vouch for him that he is working hard for you and for those in Lacedonia and Ephesus. So, see at it very carefully. A prayer warrior is somebody who is actually praying for others. His attention is not about himself or herself. He's focused on other people. You see that? And the purpose, the, the, the content of his prayer is about wrestling in prayer for the maturity of other Christians, for the full assurance for other Christians to have about their faith. And it's also somebody who is ensuring that others will stand firm in the will of God. That means in the word of God, they will stand firm. So he's praying and laboring in prayer that Christ will be fully formed in their heart. That's where prayer warrior is. You see that, right? And he says, he calls it hard work. He's working hard for you. So let's start from there. That's, that's where prayer warrior is. But look at, look at something else that Jesus said that's very interesting about prayer. In um, Matthew chapter 6, from verse 5 to 7. Matthew, Matthew chapter 6, from verse 5 to 7. Look at what he said. Now, listen to this very carefully. Jesus says, and when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites. Why? He says, for they love to pray. You know, the, the first day I saw this, I was surprised. Jesus said that the hypocrites love to pray. They don't like to pray. They love prayer. But Jesus said they are hypocrites. Why are they hypocrites? Because of the intent, the motive of their prayer. The motive of their prayer. You know, sometimes people are worried with devils. They are trying to bind devils. They are trying to deal with Satan, having fellowship with Satan. I think that's prayer. That's not a waste of time. Because and Jesus said that, in fact, this, these particular guys, when they were praying, the Bible says that they stand in the synagogues and on the corner of the streets. This is Matthew chapter 6, from verse 5 to 7. Just that they may be seen by men. So the focus of your prayer is it to get an accolade from men that you pray for weeks or you pray for years or you pray for hours. Is that the focus of your prayer? He said, as surely I say to you, they have their reward. That's what Jesus said. He said, but you, when you pray, go into your room. And when you are shut the door, pray to your father who is in the secret place. And your father who is in secret will reward you open. You see that? Verse 7 says, And when you pray, do not use um, vain repetition as the, he as the hidden do. For they think that they will be heard for their many words. So prayer is about fellowship. When you find people who are poor, it's very clear why they are still poor. It's because in the content of their prayer, they actually are not having fellowship with the father. They're having fellowship with themselves. They're having fellowship with devils. And they think that um, sometimes even after the prayer, they get their own answers. They answer their own prayer by themselves because they don't talk to God at all in the first. Because prayer is about communion. Prayer is about oneness with the Father. It's about building intimacy, fellowship with the Father. And if that's not the focus of your prayer, then you are actually not a prayer warrior. You are, I don't know what, what phrase to call you, 
but that's not what that, that's not what it means to war in prayer those who war in prayer are those who are laboring for the progress of the faith of other christians if that's not your focus that's why you're still broke that's why you're still poor you see that and after prayer prayer is not just enough you know god assures that we should bible says that god gives us the works of our hands the question is what are you doing with your hands what work are you doing what value are you adding to society what value are you bringing to people you see that because if you're not giving value definitely there's no there's there's no other option than for you to experience a lack in your life you see that so your focus of prayer must change it must be about fellowship it must be about communion with the with 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 the lord and if that's the focus, then you're going to have great gain in your prayer life. Thank you.